What's up guys? Uh, today we will be conducting an experiment. Uh, I've kept, or I've tried keeping living rams with red cherry shrimp. Here we have a bag with a male little red cherry shrimp acclimating, temperature acclimating. And I really just want to see the feed response on the Bolivian rams. Um, if it's not too crazy, if they don't absolutely lose their minds, if they kind of show no interest, I'm going to move my colony in here. I'm going to move this colony into the 75 and give them a whole new space and probably order some more shrimp. Um, as of now, this is just like, it's just not going very well for them. This is a very like old colony that started off with eight shrimp. So it's a lot of inbreeding, I'm sure. And just kind of a lack of genetic diversity over the years at certain points, because at some points the colony was like 400 or 500 strong. And at other points it's been like 12 strong and it's always kind of fluctuated up and down. So I have no idea how many are left, but I'm gonna give them, you know, a last hurrah in the 75 and then use this for quarantine so I can start buying a bunch of new fish for the other tanks. But um, yeah, so he's been quarantined, or he's been acclimating for probably 45 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna give him a little bit more time and then I'm gonna add him to the tank, kind of right over the, the rams, kind of an open water and just see what happens. All right, they've kind of chilled out. This is the deciding factor that's gonna make this video either very short where you guys just kind of watch me sacrifice a shrimp to the Bolivian ram gods, or, oh shit, I just scared him off. <coughs> or, they just kind of leave him alone, and this becomes a whole process where I have to move the colony. Okay, he's up. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna back away. He's in the top right of the tank right now. Can't really see him. He's like on the uh, the seam of the silicone bead. It looks like he's swimming across behind the rim. I don't want to swim the other way. Oh, buddy. All right, he's swimming down. No ram activity yet. He's on the bottom chilling right there. I don't think you guys can... You guys can kind of see that. He's right here. Sometimes with less colorful cherry shrimp, like this was a male and he wasn't like the most colorful male. He wasn't solid red. He was sort of clear. Um, sometimes with those shrimp, you can get away because they don't look as enticing to the fish, but like a solid red shrimp is gonna get eaten immediately because it just sticks out and it looks like a bloodworm kind of all right they're coming out a little bit now but they're not really around where he is he's literally in this patch of anubias right here the bolivian's mouths also may be a little bit too small Yeah, he's still in there. He's behind that Anubius. It's looking pretty good though. I mean, if he can hide like that, there's plenty of hiding places in this tank. So I'm thinking that was so far successful. Um, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and call that a success. Um, the shrimp obviously moved away from the plant and they didn't really notice or care. Uh, like I said, it could be because He's not a super brightly colored shrimp. So when I add some of the females in there that are bright red, they may get attacked, but I think they're a little bit too big for them to even eat. So we'll see, I guess. I'm gonna go drain the 20 gallon and get that sorted and start catching all these shrimp out of the tank. And then I'll have a free 20 gallon. All right, we've elevated to the next level. Bolivians are chilling right here. I don't know if they're looking at the bag of shrimp or they're just chilling because this is normally where they are. But we have a bunch of scrimps right here, guys. I don't know exactly. Ooh, that one does not look very comfortable. Um, let's see if we can focus. Yeah, so lots of them. 
real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 shrimps looks about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, is that an, another one? 7? Seven? 7 or 8 females. And then 6 or 7 males. And yeah. So this should be really interesting. A couple of the females are pregnant. I think that's what these these two weirdos down here are doing. I don't know what's going on. These shrimp are acting like kind of weird, really lethargic, not super healthy. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't know. Some of them, maybe they're just old. I don't, I don't really don't know. But um, they're acclimating. Back in here, we have this tank fully drained using the old vans. Jesus, nothing buddy, nothing wants to freaking focus today. Using this to just prop it up so I could get as much water out of it as possible. I saw some planaria or like worm looking dudes. You can see, jeez, come on. Down here, where, where'd he go? Right at the edge right there. Maybe too small to pick up, but right there, you can kind of see that little worm. There was a bunch of those in there, and then like one pretty big one. So um, I decided to make the executive decision to leave this empty, let all this evaporate. I put some Prazapro, like a few drops, and stirred it in so that tiny little bit of water in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let all the water evaporate, let this dry up, and then I'm going to add a lot more sand. Not a lot more, but probably twice as much sand so it's even along the bottom. Throw some sponge filters in, some big rocks, and use this as quarantine so I can buy a bunch of tetras and random fish that are going to be for that tank and that tank. And yeah, once that's all settled, and this is all settled, this is a bunch of bulbatus. If you want bulbatus, let me know. I have a ton of it. I have way too much of it. I'm actually, honestly, close to the point of throwing it away. That is how much I have. Um... Let me know. I'll hook you guys up however much you want, basically. Uh, and yeah. But yeah, so now I'm just letting these guys temperature acclimate. They're on the same tap water. Just letting them kind of get accustomed to the tank. I'm going to add a little bit of tank water in a minute. And let them get settled for probably 30 more minutes. And then we will add them to the tank. And I'll show you guys what happens. Just released the shrimp. Obviously, I don't know what happened. Uh, one of them molted in the bag and then this one i think is dead um but yeah the oblivions didn't even react as i added them so i think it's a good start for sure i think the oblivions and most of the fish are definitely going to try to munch on the babies but i think there's enough cover in this tank to where it's not going to really matter um and this is kind of like my whole thing like bottom to top level like predators and stuff like that i like to have things breeding in the tanks and stuff like that i like as close to natural as we can get it obviously these fish would never these shrimp and these fish would never interact in the wild but small inverts being able to breed and just have their own population and then bigger fish eating a few of the babies but not all of them and i just think that's kind of stuff is really cool but um hopefully this goes well um if not it's not that big of a deal. Some of the shrimp that I just added were semi-low grade, so at the worst, I'm losing, you know, 50 bucks. But, um, yeah, I'm going to catch this dead shrimp real quick and feed it to those guys. As you can see, they know something is coming. They can sense it. But, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, this continues to go well. If not, I'll obviously put a video out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.